Hello. Today we're going to construct a triangle that is congruent to that one. And we're going to use angle side angle congruence. Now what that means is I need an included angle, eh, excuse me, included side, and two angles on either side of it. But at the moment I have nothing other than the triangle I want to construct a congruent copy of. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, as we have been for all of our triangle congruence problems, just by drawing a straight line. Now I'm going to draw a straight line, and this is going to end up be representative of my base, the base of my triangle. I'm going to make sure it's longer than that segment right there, because I'm going to say that's the base of my triangle. And I'm just going to draw a line. Pretty simple. So I want to make that segment that segment. Well, to do that, we, we're going to have a side. So uh, we want it to be as long as that. So we break out our compass, which measures distance, of course. And we extend it to the width of that particular side. So that's going to be about, let's go with that long. That works. Uh, so I'm going to put my non-pencil in on one end of the line I originally drew. And I'm just going to draw an arc that will intersect my line. Excellent. The distance from that end of the segment I drew to where the arc crosses my segment is the same distance as that vertex to that vertex of the triangle I've constructed. Awesome. Now we're constructing using angle side angle, which means I need to construct an angle that goes that direction and that direction. And it should produce a triangle that is congruent to that one. So that means I need to construct congruent angles, two of them actually, because it's angle side angle. And because we go in order, we need to go angle, included side, angle. So that means I actually need to construct a congruent angle twice. And it must be those two. Well, fortunately, we all know how to construct a congruent angle. But on the off chance, we forgot. All right. Vertex on the, ver oh, excuse me, non-pencil in on the vertex. Draw an arc that intersects both rays, or sides of the triangle in this case. So, uh, meh, 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 meh. there we go. Hopefully we don't drop our compass. Make sure it's still the same width. Yeah, we're good. Now, make sure I do it right, correctly. There we go, much better. And I'm gonna do that same thing down here. Move non-pencil into the left end of the line I drew, which will be that vertex. And do the same thing. Make sure it's a nice large arc. We don't know where it's going to intersect. Very good. And now we measure the distance from where the arc crosses both sides. So that means I extend my compass to that distance right about there. About that. To make sure it's in the right spot, I'll draw. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. Well, there we go. Much better. And I'll do the same thing down here. And uh, I can draw a line that goes from the end of my line through those crisscrossing neck uh, arcs. I'm going to go far because I don't know where it's going to meet. All right, cool. Oh, angle side angle. Angle side. I need the other angle. All right, do it again. Fine. All right, all right. Non pencil end on the vertex. Arc that crosses both sides of the triangle. Do the same thing down here. Remember that point is representative of that vertex, so the same thing. Make it big. Not that it matters. Well, it does matter, but for that, that's a small angle. Anyway. Okay, measure the distance where uh, the arc crosses both sides of the triangle. So that's about a. Uh, eh, looks like it's uh, there. That's good. Just double check. Yeah, it works. Yeah, that works. And the same thing down here. Oh. And we'll draw a line that goes from the end through those crisscrossing arcs. And assuming I have done this correctly, even though it would be at a slightly different angle. That triangle is congruent to that triangle. Awesome. 